Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are doing well. Wanted to touch on uh, a few fundamental uh, filing techniques that I know are definitely going to straighten up your shaping. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so this was a nail that I had built out last week. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take down a little bit of the length, but you can see, right, how everything kind of curves in from this point down towards the tip as well as here, right? C curves all the way down to the tip. So if we wanted to transform this into more of a, uh, a coffin-shaped nail, then what, what I would do is I would come in and basically square off the tip. So technically what you could do is you could build you know, a really long stiletto and then shorten it out. So what I wanna do now is I wanna kinda of straighten the edges. So you could see what I wanna do is place my file pressure about right there, about the highest point out, right? So if I'm keeping contact, right? If I'm keeping contact all the way through, to make that side as straight as I possibly can, you're going to notice that I'm able to build a really kind of tight ledge all the way through the growth channel, right? So you can see that right from the end of the growth channel all the way out, what I'm trying to do is create the straightest ledge I possibly can. On the same exact side, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So if I'm putting pressure right there, so that, like as it rounds down, I'm gonna put pressure basically right on that side, making sure that I have contact on the whole entire side, right, of the, what I call sidewall as it's going all the way down to the end of the free edge. So you can see the dust line how it works out from this point all the way to here, right? And th these are really the fundamentals of shaping before you actually get into reducing bulk with your electric file. So, you know, again, if, if you built out your nail and you wanna get your sides completely straight, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my file connected to the sides so that I can get as straight, right, of an extension from the end of the growth channel all the way out to the end of the nail. Right? And then, then you can see as I'm looking down the barrel, right, L look at how, right, filed, right? So it's, it's really kind of a, a flat wall and then it kind of tapers up. So what you're going to end up doing with your electric file by reducing thickness from the front end, right? So you're not going to do this, right? If you're, right, if, if, so I see someone, so it says, so what happens if you have one side that straight? Would you start from the corner to make it even for a coffin? No. So what I'm doing, so it, you're going to always start from the point, wherever, whatever nail that you build out, right? And a ballerina shape is going to have more of a rounded edge. But if you're trying to create something that has a straight edge, what you're trying to do is file from the highest point sticking out until the whole entire file touches the edge, right? And that way you're going to be able to build that out. These are things that we touched on during the shaping class yesterday. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, this is, again, what, what you want to be able to do so that you get really, really straight edges. Now, in order for me to reduce a lot of like, I don't want it to go, I don't want it to basically go round and then go straight down like that. So what I'll do is I'll use my electric file. You can see as I'm working down the barrel, the nail, if I'm working down that edge, right, in one direction, what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna end up rounding off a lot of that bulk down the side right there. And I could do the same thing on the opposite side. I can round that down by filing in one direction towards myself. 
I don't want to go. I don't want to go this way. If I'm going like this, then what's going to end up happening is the barrel is going to slip around. What if one side is curving because it's not a fresh set, and the other side is straight? Well, that's why, right? And, and it happens. That's why when you build your sets, you have to make sure that you know. For me, I'm right-handed, so I'm always going to start my left side first, file it even. And then basically try to match my strong side to my left side. Um, and, and at the end of the day, you know, you're trying to make it as even as you possibly can. Right? And that's what it comes down to. So here, right, once we actually have this shaped out, one thing you can do to make sure that your, your C curve is going to be even with your hand file is by holding, again, creating right, a peace sign, resting the hand file in between your knuckle, resting it over your thumb. And then that way, when you're filing in this direction, you're gonna be able to get it super e even from side to side so that there's no straight ledge. And this is what's really gonna taper this down. So this started off as a really long stiletto nail, but you can see as I taper this down, how dead even and dead straight we can get that extension. Right, and, that, and that's really going to make all the difference, as you can see, just by using the hand file, right? So for those of you guys, again, tr trying to get really, really tight, right, um, coffin-shaped nails, it's a matter of trying to create that stiletto shape and then just squaring off the tip so it's very, very blunt and square at the end, and then just making sure that your files, as you can see, are connected right, from the end of the growth channel all the way out, right, and that's what we want to be able to create, and that's how we're going to be able to file it into perfection, all right, perfect, uh, for those of you guys that struggle with shaping, um, hit me up, let me know what I can help you guys with, for those of you guys that need a lot of help with it, make sure to get a hold of Ray Bracamontes, right, um, he's the man, the myth, the education coordinator, Bracamontes, we just go ahead and, and type this in, uh, get you guys information about online uh, classes. I'll go ahead and pin that. You're the, you know, he, he's really the person to get in touch with so that he can get you dialed in. For those of you guys, again, that are, you know, rocking this journey and this is the start, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. There's a ton of videos on uh, Young Nails YouTube. Use them. Uh, they're free. And then again, if you guys have any questions, you can always hit us up and we're here to help. Appreciate you guys as always and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you soon on Nail School. Have a wonderful day. Peace.